Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Even though I'm retired, I still look forward to Friday and the weekend like it's a different day. It's not like I've been working all week and those are my days off. I'm off every day and I like it. So today I poured out my Scooby-Doo t-shirt and this is going to be casual Friday for me, very casual. Um, first of all, I want to talk about primer for your face. We have two great primers. Um, the primer that I use is the per, um, perfecting primer because it covers large pores, little imperfections on your face. It just puts kind of a shield over them and you have that shield to protect, to not protect, but to seal, to keep the makeup that we put on your face to soak into the skin. This is like a barrier in between your foundation and your skin. It's very important to use a primer. We also have the... Um, <laughs> not so bright you think you need a little lift you can go with the strobe primer but I'm going to go with the perfecting primer because I have little pores pores I never had before but now I have them and it's you you just need a little it goes a long way and it's it's clear but it's like a silky consist consistency when you put it on your face. Sounds like I can't talk today, so this could be interesting. And you can put it all over or just in the areas where you need it the most, which usually is this area, your cheek area and across your nose. I put it everywhere. Um, it feels so good and a little goes a long way. That little bit covers your whole face. It feels really good. I'm just going to let that sit a minute before we go on. Um, I'm going to do just a very light makeup coverage today. Um, because I'm basically not planning on going out anywhere uh, today and I've got floors to mop and scrub so I don't need a lot of makeup on for that but I am going to use a product this is not a pharmacy product we uh, we had a tinted moisturizer and they have discontinued it and hopefully usually when they discontinue products they'll bring back something that's even better so I'm hoping they're working on something better because a lot of people just like a tinted moisturizer or just a real light coverage of something on their face without totally going into a foundation so this is called tinted I get my glasses. Tinted Power Primer. It's called a primer, but you can wear it alone. Uh, this is this one's kind of pricey. Um, it's one that I I tried and I really like it, but it's a little pricey to. If you wore it every day, you would want to definitely find something a little less pricey but I'm gonna put it on that's what I'm gonna put on today and show you it's um, 
feels really good on the skin. Stays on all day just like your foundation would. Um, the reason they call it a primer is because it is like a primer. It protects your skin, and you can wear foundation over it. So I probably could have gone without putting my other primer on, but I like to use it it's good for your skin it's it has really good ingredients in it and so why not but this is definitely it looks thicker than it is when you put it on it's very light um i would say that it's sort of between a primer and a BB cream, which a BB cream is lighter than a foundation. That's the reason I like the BB cream so much. Because as we get more mature, sometimes we don't like the real thick foundation. And this is just, it's a good coverage, but it's light. You know, it, it, it'll cover you know, any imperfections you have. If you have something that, you know, you, you want a little more coverage on, you just dab your finger in it and dab it on wherever you want to have the extra coverage. But it's really pretty. Now in the winter time, uh, thicker foundation is better because it really gives you protection from the weather and all the elements outside. So see that gives you a, a nice coverage and it's pretty. It'll stay there all day. It's not going anywhere. And I'm going to show you something else today that's a good protectant for your skin in a minute. Uh, I'm going to... I'm, since I'm having such a problem with my eyes... Well, really, this whole week, I thought maybe the rain would wash whatever is giving me a problem away, but I don't know. I see more and more things blooming out, so I guess it's not over yet. I use lots of eye drops, but sometimes I feel like, are the eye drops going to damage my eyes more than just letting them go? I don't know. I'm funny about putting stuff in my eye, but the eye doctor said put drops in them six times a day. Well, to me, that just seems unreal. I, I'm, I'm not sure I even agree with that, but he's the doctor. Of course, I usually forget to put them in six times a day, so I don't guess I have to worry about it. So I'm just going to put on... A very light coverage all over the lid. I'm not doing two or three colors. I'm just going to do one color and it's going to be I always say that then I end up putting another color on because I'm like, oh, that needs a little bit more. First thing you know, I'm putting 
two or three colors on, but I'm going to try not to do that today. Just going to make it a really neutral. This is just a real light beige color. I figure that will work. I hope everybody's got something fun planned for the weekend. My plans are usually, um, I never know to the last second if I'm doing anything or not. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to put on just a very light cover of mascara. I'm going to have to have... I'm dropping things. I will be on tomorrow, uh, and we're going to talk about some different makeup tips and uh, processes that you can do that makes your makeup look not crazy. Not that I, sometimes I might get a little crazy with the eye color, because I do like eye color, and that's not for everybody. But, um, according to the pros, I got some good tips. I am definitely not a pro, but I do love makeup, so, and I love doing the videos, hoping that Someone that sees, you know, I can help them or show them some techniques that they don't know. Um, trying to build up my business here. So the more people we get, the more we can do. Um, And the more that I can get into really teaching makeup um, techniques, and I can also tell you some pros and cons on different brands that I've used and what I find, you know, with different brands not to be really good for you, for your skin. But that's what I like about our company. They have, because they're pretty much self-contained, they, uh, they, they produce, package, ship everything, 97% of our products in-house. Uh, so we don't have a middleman to go through, so we can get the best products for a really reasonable price. And you can't say that about a lot of companies because that's not the, the case. Uh, we broke ground down in Miami. We're going to be building a... Uh, a new facility there. We're also in the process of opening facilities in Canada and Mexico. So we are definitely growing. Um, and I hope to be part of that process. Building, you know, more clients for the company and also for me for for my um benefit because i love 
the company and I love the makeup and I love all the products, not just the makeup. We have shampoo and different various products. Uh, maybe one day we'll, I'll just have a day and uh, we'll talk about some of the other products that we have. I couldn't be really go over all of them because there's too many, but we do have other products other than makeup. Um, but I hope to grow this into a small business. That's my goal. And hopefully have uh, somebody, you know, to join under me and we can keep this growing. I would like to grow it where I would, you know, need to hire some help at some point. Um, but we'll see how that goes. You know, I'm starting out small and uh, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, I'm going to put on a little blush. It's not going to be much. here I'm back with a pink lily again that is just so beautiful I can't help but wear it all the time but I'm doing a very light coat today just to give me a little bit of color since I'm not doing any color on my eyes And also, I'm going to do a light lip. This color is like my go-to color. I really love this color. It's called Mauve Pink. But I do like bold lip colors too. But sometimes you get funny looks when you go out and... and out in the public and you've got this red lipstick on, everybody's like, wow, who does she think she is wearing that red lipstick? So if you see anybody, if you have on your red lipstick and you're in Walmart and people are staring at you, just put your strut on and go right on with your day. Don't pay any attention to them because if it makes you feel good, you wear it. But this is really a pretty color. Okay, one product we haven't talked about, and I don't know why, because I use it every time I do my makeup, is the Time Locker. This is not really called a, a primer, so to speak. It's a liquid. But after you do all your makeup, this spray this on, which I'll show you. And it feels so good, you'll just want to keep spraying. And it, it dries really fast. And this will help keep your makeup on all day. And I would definitely buy this, even if you don't care about putting it all over your face to to keep your help keep your makeup on and keep it fresh just to spray it on your face you can use this before your primer if you want to you can use it after you put your skincare on in the morning and, and your skincare is soaked in good you can spray this first before you start it just feels really good and it has uh, good ingredients in it that you know are good for your skin so this is a must for me. I love this. And that's about all I have today. I wanted to keep it real simple. 
because this is a Scooby-Doo Friday, and we're just going to be cleaning and preparing for tomorrow's live. Um, so everybody have a good day. Plan something fun for the weekend. Um, plan something with your family. Um, mine will probably be NASCAR with my dad. Um, but that's fine. We order pizza and we pretend like we're at the stadium with all the rest of the, the fans and we're boosting on our drivers. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day and be safe.